Hello, a quick burst of all-inclusive loveliness now from us here at Cruise First TV, where it's time to plus, plus, plus with Princess Cruises. Yes, and that means that as well as your full board daily wonders, we'll plus the drinks with a premium package, plus the dining with more inclusions, plus the tips to include the daily gratuity, plus the fitness with classes included, and plus the ice cream with yummy premium desserts. And yes. that's not all, let me tell you. We are off to Hawaii in February on the Ruby Princess which a friend of mine has just cruised Alaska on and loved every minute of it. First though we are going to take a cruise to Canada and New England all inclusive next August in a package over 10 nights in all. Starts off with a flight over to New York, New York. We've got two nights in a hotel there. Just awesome as a city isn't it it is awesome and you're going to be there in late summer too and i just always think this city really does come to life in the summertime and it's always exciting but particularly at this time of year when everybody's out in bryant park or central park strolling across the brooklyn bridge you know enjoying cocktails live concerts it's very vibrant and exciting and then it is time my friends to cruise and you have got um a humdinger of an itinerary one of my favorite itineraries of all time is canada canada and New England. You're going to be on board for seven nights on the gorgeous Enchanted Princess, uh, which is wonderful. She was just launched a couple of years ago too. So medallion class from the ground, built from the ground up with that smart technology of a little medallion that you just carry you know, pin to your lapel or around your neck and it will open your stateroom. It will allow you to order drinks. They have this incredible piazza, which I'm so excited to see. Um, it's which, which it's is huge, full it? of shops and restaurants. It's got that real feeling of, you know, an Italian piazza mixed with a luxury mall. And I think that that's going to be a great sort of hanging out spot because actually a lot of cruise ships do not have central meeting points in the atrium anymore. It tends to be more just like reception, but this is great. Uh, there's the Seawalk Lounge. Of course, you can see views all the way down to uh, the ocean, 200 meters down, um, and a lovely bar up there as well. These are all reimagined spaces for this new ship. Uh, top deck pools, jacuzzis, around the vessel as well in different spots to enjoy, which is great. Um, and then when it comes to relaxing, of course, you have that incredible spa. Princess are known for their indulgent spa treatment. So make sure you go on, go ahead and look at the menu because there's bound to be some things on there that you've never tried. It's lovely, if you can't try them on a cruise, when can you try them? I love the fire and ice pedicure. I really enjoy things like the seaweed wraps are really cool um, and great massages too. When it comes to your dining, this is special. This is Chef's Table Luminaire. So if you want to do, like you've got a special occasion coming up, it might be, you know, 70th birthday, 80th birthday, anniversary. It might be a family reunion and you want to have the ultimate in luxury dining experience, then that's something. Might be the night you uh, propose. Oh, yes. That'd what be a nice way of doing it, wouldn't it? Oh, can you imagine? Um, you can actually have the ring bought out in the dessert. That's what they often do on Lovely. cruise ships. Yeah, very You'll cool. You'll love the inclusions as, as well while you're on board because you, you have got... Uh, your drinks package included. It's got yep. Princess Plus um, included. So you've got a full drinks package there. You've got gratuities, you've got Wi-Fi, you've got room service without delivery charges. You've also got the Ocean Now delivery where wearing the little medallion and using the app, you have food and drink, you know, just brought to you wherever you happen to be on the ship. You don't yeah. even have to tell them where you are. You don't have to walk up to a bar. You can just order it on the app. You could be in a cabana there up in the sanctuary. Uh, and uh, it could all just be delivered Look to you. It's well oh. worth booking one of those private cabanas up yes. in the sanctuary as well. It's really, really nice to do. It's a little extra um, to do it, but it's really nice for, as the name suggests, the, the sanctuary of that mm -hmm. lovely um, privacy for a, a wee while. Right, let's take our cruise then out of New York. Yes, and we're heading to fabulous Newport, Rhode Island, then on to Boston, Massachusetts, uh, Portland, Maine, St. John in Canada, Halifax in Canada, and a day at sea will see us back into New York, New York before you'll disembark and we will fly you back to the UK. Yes, it's a lovely time to do this kind of itinerary um, as well, actually, um, because you've still got, you know, you've still got that kind of heat of the day yes. with you, which is, is lovely. Um, and some wonderful scenic cruising 
um, as well. Actually, some real nice sights to see in the ports along the way. So very, very special um, itinerary. Maybe you've never been to this part of the world before either. Maybe you've never been stateside at all. Well, this is a nice little dip into many places all in one. Low deposit today, £199 each if you are interested in this. And the price tag is very, very good considering it's an all-inclusive offering as well. And it's so full, that all-inclusive offering uh, as well. So when you look at the number and you factor in, ah, right, okay, so I'm not having to pay for a drink at all while I'm on board. I'm not having to buy a Wi-Fi package. I'm not paying daily gratuities. That's all in that number. And that's the flight out to New York, couple of nights in a hotel there, that fabulous uh, Canada and New England cruise with so many additions. Um, plus in with Princess Plus as part of the offering. Right, let's have a look at the upgrades as well. Uh, we've also got a special offer on this particular date where if you pay the Ocean View upgrade price on this one, we will upgrade you again to the balcony stateroom, which is very, very nice because of course that's bigger. Uh, and that's longer and that's got a balcony on it as well. So you could have your breakfast out on the balcony. You could, you know, uh, order some cocktails to be sent with your included room service, no extra charge for the drink or the room service delivery. And, you know, enjoy it out on your balcony. It would be lovely to do. So take advantage for that date, for this date, uh, to actually do that and uh, go from ocean view to balcony for the price of an ocean view, which is really good. So here's what the Princess Plus includes for you. So you've got this factored in to this offer. So full drinks package, which is a really generous drinks package as well. So drinks up to a $15 value each, unlimited Wi-Fi for a device, gratuities, uh, the juice bar, you've got access to that as well. And the premium desserts, which is a recent addition to um, Princess Plus as well. So it's normally a chargeable, these um, premium desserts, but you get them included to a day. It's not a target, remember, it's just an allowance. Uh, you've got your fitness classes included, casual dining, so some of the casual dining restaurants um, that now have a, a small cover charge included for you, which is good. Ocean Now Delivery, so having food and drink bought to you uh, without an extra delivery charge, that's part of your Princess Plus. Room service with no extra delivery charges and you've got express boarding as well. So you're kind of front of the queue to get on the ship right at the very start of the holiday, which is nice to do. So. Again, more reasons to book that offer, 0800 953 4700. It is lovely. It is really nice to know that so much is taken care of because we are all very mm. cost conscious uh, of, you know, the, the little extras that you can have to add on along the way. It's quite nice to know, OK, that's the price. And when I get yes. on, so much of it is already covered. Yeah. So with that said, let's do another offer on the same vein, but somewhere different. We're off to Hawaii now in February on the Ruby Princess. Again, low deposit on this one gets you booked. It's 19 nights in all, and we're flying first over to the States again, San Francisco this time, and we've got two nights in San Fran in a hotel before we start cruising. Another gorgeous city. Oh, she is absolutely beautiful. And California at all times of year tends to be sunny, no matter what the weather's like, you know, you hopefully get some sunshine when you're there in February. And, um, you know, regardless, there's just so much to do in San Francisco from Golden Gate Bridge through to Union Square, Chinatown, which is world famous. Do a food tour if you can. I loved my food tour when I was in San Fran. Um, and, you know, the people are super friendly. You're going to see lots of iconic movie viewpoints as well up on the hill. Uh, ride the tram if you can, to, you know, take to the market right, right next to the port before you board the Ruby Princess. You're on board for 16 nights on the ruby you lucky lucky really? people yes a friend of mine is actually literally has just come back from an alaska cruise on um, ruby princess and he's just having an absolutely or just had an absolutely brilliant time um particularly the entertainment i had loads and yes. loads of saw loads and loads of pictures of um the voice which is one of the you know the the tv show the voice they do a version of it um, on the ship as part of the entertainment, which is, you know, really, really good. So it's not just passive entertainment. You feel like you're a bit more involved in it, which right. is lovely. Yeah, you absolutely do. And if you like being involved in entertainment, there's lots of interactive things such as quiz, bingo, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Game Show, mm -hmm. The Quest, which is like an adult scavenger hunt. That's lots of fun. It gets a little bit raucous. Uh, karaoke. Like You've got all of your favourite activities 
on board the ship to do during your adventure. And of course, if you want to do something crafty, they have lots of crafting activities too. You can learn how to napkin fold and towel fold, which might just sound a little bit strange, but actually when you do these things, you're like, oh, Look what I can do at my next dinner party. It does give you bragging rights. You're like, well, I've learned how to, we're talking about learning how to do something new. They also do cooking classes with the executive chef. Often they do that in the atrium or some other spot. So you can learn their signature dishes too. So you can come back, if there's a dish you loved, particularly in the dining room, um, look at the day that they'll, they're cooking that and learn how to do it. You know, there's just so many things that you wouldn't necessarily think about when you go on a cruise. No. That, because they think of everything. This well, is well also, uh, as well, common Conversely, on the on the other end of the scale, you might find yourself, you know, going into the art gallery, yes, uh, attending one of the auctions and and putting in a successful bid for an artwork, right. which they'll have delivered back, you know, to the UK for you. Yeah. Um, which is which is quite a different thing to do. You know, it's it's quite nice to stumble across things that you wouldn't expect would be on a cruise ship I mean, right. that's one of the nice things about cruising yeah. as well is that we tell you a certain amount but there will be other surprises that you'll think oh gosh you know what i never expected that to happen while i was on a cruise yeah yeah and that's the amazing thing about cruising and you're going to uh, incredible hawaii with some wonderful sea days to get you over there to explore and enjoy all these activities on board and then we're hitting up hawaii first up it's beautiful honolulu the capital then on to Kauai, the garden isle Maui is next, then it's stunning Hilo, which is very volcanic. A day at sea sees us into Ensenada in Mexico with its famous blowhole, lovely, delicious tacos um, and great shopping. And then we're at sea again, back into San Fran where you'll disembark and fly home to the UK. This is another cracker of a price as well, I have to tell you. Deposits today on this one, again, of just £199 each. Um, and look, I mean, for the 16-night cruise, which is all-inclusive on this one, plus your stay in San Francisco, flights included, the hotel in San Francisco, and, of course, the cruise, which has so much more than just drinks included, all there for 2799 per person. £199 each today is your deposit. Uh, beautiful part of the world to see. Let's have a look at the upgrades for this one as well. We'll just, uh, again, just reiterate what's included here. So, you know, a full premium drinks package included gratuities, Wi-Fi, extra dining, you know, room service without any, any extra delivery charges, uh, juice bar, premium desserts. You know, it just goes on and on and on uh, and all factored in to that price tag for you right now. If you want to know any more uh, about the ship, about the upgrades, about where you're going, you just pop that PC517 into the website, cruisefirst.tv, and it'll bring up the full itinerary for you. You can find out more about the individual places you're going to. I love the fact that on that 16 night cruise, the first four days are at sea, which is wonderful. Get to know the ship, enjoy it. You're not missing out on a port, uh, and you can really dive into all of those plus inclusions, which is very nice indeed you lucky people now listen that's all we've got time for on this show it was just a little just a tiny little 15 minute show but it's hopefully given you a little bit of food for thought loads more offers of course for princess and all the major cruise lines are on our website at cruisefirst.tv but, but the very tempting both of those jokes oh they're two of my favorite itineraries yeah yeah very my nice favorite destinations uh, have a little look if you haven't considered canada new england or hawaii they are hot spots get booking absolutely see you back here for more later